Okay, so in the previous sections we looked at center of gravity, center of mass, centroid, and we focused actually a lot on the centroid. And um, But essentially what we were doing was we were looking at these kinds of irregular shapes, like a shape like that, right? And then we try to find the centroid, right? Or a shape like that. And there's so many different types of shapes, but these are all continuous, non-linear, what could have been a shape like this, right? Something like that. All right, so this required, a lot of the time it required us to carry out an integration, right? Remember, integration is we're just summing up things, but... Uh, these we are not summing up this we are not looking at discrete discrete elements we're looking at continuous continuous a continuous um, shape like this right so in order to to add up everything under this curve for example you need an element and you need that differential element and you need to carry out something like this x d y Okay, but when when your uh, shape or your object or your area is not continuous, and we can act and we can uh, identify discrete elements. What is a discrete element? A discrete element is if you've got, say, say you've got a a bar there, and you've got a, a mass piece, and another mass piece, and another mass there. Okay. These are discrete elements. Say this is one kilogram, and that's another one kilogram, and another one kilogram. Right, this is a continuous shape, a continuous mass. These are discrete uh, mass masses, okay? If it's a discrete system, we don't need integration to, to sum up or to add up. We simply use a summation. So, for example, if you look at this example that I just literally made up. Uh, this will be our x-axis. Okay, that's the that's the x-axis. And say now we want to find the center of mass of this guy. You know, where would this be? Well, again, we use the principle of moments. We say the total of whatever you're looking at, whether it's mass, whether it's area, whether it's volume, the total thing okay those are my unscientific words the total thing you're looking for right area mass volume length the total in this case this example we're looking at mass so we add up all all the mass so they will have three kilograms and we're looking for okay so say now that's our x zero and we're trying to measure somewhere where our x bar is which is our center of mass so we x bar, so the, the moment of the sum is equal to the sum of the moments, okay? So we've got m1 times x1 plus m2, that's m2 times x2, right? Plus m3 times x3. The, the moment of the sum is equal to the sum of the moments. Okay, and then you calculate, you say 1 times that length plus the mass times that length plus the mass times that length. And we can determine our x bar. So these are discrete elements, discrete bodies. This is a continuous system. This needs integration. This needs, this needs summation. So for... Um, so, for a body of any number of parts, uh, sorry, we then generalize for a body of any number of parts and express the sums in condensed form to obtain the mass center coordinates. So, our x bar then is equal to the sum of the moments divided by the total mass. And we do that for y bar and z bar as well.